Hello everyone, Sevi here with a quick tutorial for the new Affliction Relic Calculator for 7.25. First off, this is a read-only file, so we need to go up to the top left-hand side. We're going to hit File, we're going to make a copy, and we're going to name it whatever we'd like to. I've gone ahead and done this, and I've put Personal in front. So now that we have our own calculator, we'll be able to use it. First off, this tool is not meant to replace simming your own character. So why is it here? Well, first off, it is easy, an easier way to read all of the sims in one place. It also compares two relics so that you're not having to sim all the combinations of all of the relics. It also provides a faster way to ballpark relics when you don't have the, the time at that very moment to go ahead and sim it. Um, it also will provide information that's not found on the pretty charts. So if you look at the pretty charts, it is only ranging from 885 to 955, and it's going by every 10 item levels. So if you're looking for something that's a 900, and you know it's going to be somewhere in between here, well, then if you want to figure out what it is, you can use the calculator to get a better approximation of that. So the way that you use the calculator is we're going to be using the drop-down menus. Uh, we're going to select the talent first, and then we're going to select the number of targets. Uh, then we're going to go down to the current relic, and we're going to choose its trait and its eye level. And then we're going to choose uh, the trait on the comparison relic and its eye level. So down at the bottom, it'll give you a little readout uh, to which relic is better, but I will make sure to tell you that if it is close, you do need to make sure that you sim it so that you're not accidentally getting rid of a relic that may not have been an upgrade. A lot of the relics are a lot closer um, in the TOS update than they were previously, so I highly recommend that you do sim your character. Um, this calculator also does have a little bit of extra information in it. If you go to the math tab down at the bottom, you can see that all of the sim data has been imported into the spreadsheet, so it may be a little bit easier for you to read than the original vertical output that was originally uploaded. So this does have all of the original numbers on there for you. I will also urge you to take a look back from time to time. Once we have updates, we will be updating this information so that you know that you're getting the most up-to-date information. You can always double check under the notes. It'll tell you when the last batch of sims was run and also uh, when I updated the calculator. It also will have on the lower right hand corner of the pretty charts the date that the pretty charts were updated as well. I hope that helps and enjoy.